Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 11. Now we'll discuss vector joining two points. So if there are two points, let's suppose P1 and P2, P1 is x1, y1, z1, P2 is x2, y2, z2, there are two points, any two points, and the vector joining two points P1, P2 is called P1, P2, P is known, it is P1, P2. So here P1, P2, P1 will be called initial point, please note, and P2 will be called terminal point. So this will be P1, P2. So this guy is always initial point and this guy is terminal, terminal point T, correct? P1, P2 if you want to write, this will be nothing but terminal point minus initial point. Please note, it is always terminal point minus initial point. Please play a little bit of attention here because when you say P1, P2 and P2, P1, both are not equal. Actually, P1, P2 is equal to minus P2, P1. Correct. So when you say P1, P2 here, P1 is the initial point and P2 is the terminal point. So P1, P2, it starts from P1. The, if you see the, the direction is this guy, this side. P1, P2 starts with P1, ends in P2, in this direction. And the vector you write is terminal point minus initial point. So it is X2 minus X1, correct? So please note, it is terminal point minus initial point when you write. So when I say P1, P2, it is this point x2, y2, z2 minus x1, y1, z2. So this is, if you see, was my terminal and this is my initial. So this is a convention. Please play a little attention here. There is nothing logic. It's all about convention. So when you say p1, p2, I'm going from p1 to p2 it is in this direction. When I write p1, p2, I write the terminal first and then initial first. A little bit confusing here, but you have to pay attention here. P1, P2 is write terminal first, then initial. And that is how it is. So, you want to find the length of this vector P1, P2. This is nothing but again, if you have P1, P2 as this form, so this will become root of this square plus this square plus this square. That is root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square. There is nothing new in this, so I have uh, the magnitude in this fashion, correct? The only thing you have to keep in mind is when you say P1, P2, my P1 is the initial point, P2 is the terminal point, correct? When I write P1, P2 vector, first I take P2 points, then you say minus P1 points. That's how you write. Let's take some example. We have to find the vector which uh, initial point 2, 1 and terminal point minus 5 and so I have one vector. Let's suppose 2, 1 is the initial point and final point is minus 5, 7. This is my vector. Let's suppose this is vector A. Correct? This is initial point because it starts from A and this is terminal point. Terminal point because it ended. So I will say vector AB is nothing but terminal point so this 5 minus 5 sorry minus 5 minus this guy 2 i cap plus this guy is 7 minus 1 j cap. Correct? This is minus 7 i plus 6 j cap. So this is my vector A. Please note, AB is my vector, A is my initial point, B is my terminal point. So when I say write AB vector, that is terminal point minus initial point, that is nothing but this guy is 5 minus 5i plus 7j and this guy is 2i plus j, right? So I wrote this guy as nothing but actually here, 
if you didn't understand minus 5i plus 7j minus 2i plus j. This guy is initial terminal point and this guy is initial point. So terminal point minus initial point if you solve this minus 5 minus 2 becomes minus 7i 7j minus 1j becomes 6j. Both are same actually, right? This is AB vector. So, very simple, that's the convention you should know. When you say AB vector, A is my initial, B is terminal. When you write the vector, you say terminal points minus initial point. We'll take one example. We have to find the direction cosines or the vector joining the point this and this directed from A to B. Please note. The direction is given from A to B. So I have A to B direction given. A is 1, 2 and minus 3. And B is minus 1, minus 2 and 1. So I have to find direction cosine. So before that let me find vector AB. So vector AB will be, if I told, final point minus initial point. So this guy, that is B vector here b vector is minus 1 i minus 2 j right plus k minus a vector that is i plus 2 j minus 3 k. See if you are confused why I got final point minus initial point I can show you. So let's assume this is my origin right. So this guy becomes B vector and this guy becomes A vector, correct? And this guy is AB vector. So if you see by the tail method, from here to here you add that is A vector plus AB vector, that is B capital A, capital A vector plus AB vector is equal to B vector, correct? This vector plus this vector is equal to this vector because this is the head of this and tail of head of a vector and tail of a plus b vector. You have my urge. So you got a vector plus a b vector is equal to b vector. And if you see a b vector is nothing but b vector minus a vector. And that is why I always write terminal point minus initial point. Because b is the terminal and a is the initial. So if you want, you can plot in this fashion also. For every point you have a b, you can draw from zero origin, you can get the vector actual uh, understanding and then you can say uh, AB vector is nothing but B vector minus A vector. Correct? And that's what we have done. This is B vector minus A vector. So this is nothing but minus I minus I that is minus 2I minus 2J minus 2J minus 4J plus K minus minus 3K is plus K plus 3k, 4k. So this is my AB vector. Finding direction cosine, find direction cosine, as we told, I have to find unit vector of AB. Let me find AB unit vector. This is nothing but my vector AB divided by length of AB. Correct. Because I told that if I have some vector, let's suppose vector p in the uh, unit vector then whatever this is nothing but cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k that's how it is we have proved this in one of the few uh, one of the examples i think two three examples back we have, we have proved this so similarly we'll find the unit vector of this so what will be the magnitude of ab vector let's find somewhere here magnitude of ab vector is nothing but root of 2 square that is 4, 4 square 16 and again 4 square 16, correct, 16 plus 16 32 plus 4 36 root 36 that is 6, so this guy is 6, so unit vector of this will be minus 2i minus 4j plus 4k, the same thing I wrote here divided by magnitude of ab that is 6, correct. So this is nothing but minus 2 by 6i minus 4 by 6j 
plus 4 by 6 kk. Correct? This is my AB unit vector. AB unit vector is also, as I told that, is nothing but cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k cap. Compare these two with the same equation, I can say that cos alpha is minus 2 by 6, cos beta is minus 4 by 6, and cos gamma is 4 by 6, and that is minus 3. That does nothing but my direction cosines of the vector. Correct. So, with this, I had this vector. I found this vector AB by saying vector AB is nothing but vector B minus vector A. Right? I knew vector B, this guy. I knew vector A. I found vector AB. And then I found unit vector of AB. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.